me to show you your nationality, to show you you are God's people, you are the sons and the better of living God, you are you must know the human. On this street and wake up his people. That's right. One third of the people gonna make it. Two thirds of y'all gonna be put to death. Y'all ain't never walking charcoal. That's right. Daddy, you wanna talk about study to show thyself approved? No, brother, you study to show yourself approved and understand that you're an Israelite and not a so called Negro or African American. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. That's right. Most of the only knows you black and Hispanic. That's right. The world of Israel. That's right. You black, Hispanic, and Native American. It's high time you went out of sleep, man. that you seek not after your own mind. So when you have the fringes on, you go to take that big upside your head. You can't do that. You're not supposed to lean on your own understanding according to Proverbs 25. You're supposed to do what the most high commanded you to do, not what you feel, think, or believe. That is a commandment to all generations, meaning it's still taking place today. But we don't know that, okay? But today, we gonna know that. That's right. Brother, 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 brother man. Can I ask you a question? Yes. Do you feel you're keeping the law? Yes. What law are you keeping? One point. I want to ask y'all guys. Now, do you. What I fail to uh, don't believe, did God rise again? Did God rise again? Yes. God can't die. God Bro. never died. Are you speaking of Christ? Yes. Yes, Christ rose. In that first day, the second day, third day, right? He right. rose, right? right. What, what is your point? What are you trying to get at? What is it you failed to believe? I mean, I'm, 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 I'm do you believe in the Bible? Yes, I do, but I, I believe. <laughs> I'll be doing the right thing, but you know, nothing come my way, bro. I'll be praying. Okay. 9 and 31, I want you to listen to something real quick, okay? okay. You said you're doing the right thing. Yeah. In your mind, you think you're doing the right thing. Thank you. But yeah. you said nothing what? Come my way. Nothing comes your way. No prayers are being answered. Nothing. Listen close. The book of St. John, chapter 9, verse 31. Now we know that God heareth, not sinners. Read it again. Now we know that God heareth, not sinners. Come on. But if a man, if any man, be a worshiper of God. Be a worshiper of the Most High. Read. And doeth his will. And doeth his will. Him he hear. Him he hear. Now my question to you is, what is the will of God? Because we can go and ask Eddie Long, T.U.J. and all of them this, and they will not give you an answer. And you're supposed to be able to seek knowledge at these pastors' mouths. They don't have the knowledge. The Most High's not dealing with them. For the same reason he's not answering your prayers, he's not answering their prayers. Yeah, they may be filthy with lucre, but that's the devil giving them the word. That's right. Satan gives you things too. Yay! Yay, yes. Thy law is within my heart. Thy law is within my heart. So that's the will of God. If any man do the will of God, him God hears. Okay? So what is the will? Let's start with one. Let's start with the least of the commandments. So Leviticus. Leviticus. Yeah, anyone more? Leviticus. That's a close. Chapter 19, verse 27. You have the start. You have the start. You're at a, you're at a starting point. Listen close. Ye shall not round the corners of your head. Neither shall ye mar the corners of thy beard. Neither shall you mar the corners of your beard. Do you see your beard right now? I know you can grow, grow fuller. You're not supposed to thin or mar into it. Where your natural hairline stops, which I see right about here, you're supposed to let all that grow in. That's your badge of manly dignity. We're not supposed to be cutting ourselves like that, walking around like uh, taking over the Egyptian and Greek customs. That's a heathenistic custom, okay? You're a lion. That's right. You're not a female lion. You're supposly to have your mane going. That's a badge of manly dignity. That's right. Huh? That's right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Read it again. Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 27. Come on. You shall not round the corners of your head. Uh -huh. Neither shall thou mark the corners of thy beard. Uh -huh. You shall not make any cuttings in your flesh before for dead. Stop. Because it was a custom of the Canaanites and the Africans to cut, cut with inside their skin. You may see them with cuts. They take uh, uh, knives and cut. Today, 
we mar and cut into our flesh by way of tattoos. You understand? Just like the officer brought out. We used to do these things, but now that we have came back and repented, this is this is repenting, brother. You understand what I'm saying? We're coming back to the law, statutes, and commandments. We don't do those things no more. You understand what I'm saying? We don't get tattoos, bald our heads, and take away what the Most High blessed us with. You understand what I'm saying? We don't. You shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead. Oh, Pookie died last year. I'm going to get his name tatted in me. You understand? No print any marks upon you. No print any marks upon you. You're not even taking a pen and writing on your hand. You're not even supposed to do that. You understand what I'm saying? I am the Lord. I am the Lord. So this is a commandment. Now, how do we repent? You know what I want? First Kings? I want you to start at verse 22. And then we'll hop over to 27. Because earlier, brother, I'm not sure if you guys were here. You had a group of Christians praying out in the open. Hand joined in hand praying. They're off. We never prayed like that. 22. Verse 22. 8 and 22. Come on, listen First Kings, chapter 8, verse 22. Come on. And Solomon stood before the altar and, of the Lord. And Solomon, King Solomon, stood before the altar of the Lord. Listen close. In, in the presence of all the congregation in, of Israel. In, in the presence of all the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans of Israel. Read. And spread forth. Uh, his hands and spread forth his hands right. toward heaven towards heaven read and he said Lord God of Israel Lord God of Israel come on there is no God like thee there is no God like thee come on in heaven above in heaven above on the earth beneath on the earth beneath stop and give me verse 47 so King Solomon when he prayed he didn't pray like this bro. that's right he didn't pray hand in hand he didn't pray in a goop you understand what I'm saying he didn't have the women praying out in the middle of the highways and byways in a group, in a group chain. He opened his hands, showing the most high there was nothing to hide. Right. Read verse 47. Verse 47. So remember, this is King Solomon. Come on. Yet if they bethink themselves. Yet if they bethink themselves, come on. In the land whether they will carry captive. America, we must come back and bethink ourselves in the land of our captivity. Bethink ourselves how? We're not African Americans no more. Bro. Brother, I'm from the tribe of Judah. Bro. I'm That's God's right. chosen people. Bro. I'm going to keep these law, statutes, commandments. Bro. I'm going to keep the high holidays. Bro. I'm not going to suffer sin upon my brother. Bro. I'm going to get out here and edify my people. Bro. Not all people, my people. That's right. Read on. And they shall bethink themselves. And they shall bethink themselves. In the land where they will carry away God. America, come on. And repent. And repent. Not more into my beard no more. Keep fringes on my clothing. Study to show myself approved. Take care of my family. Keep the dietary laws. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. Read. And make supplication. And make supplication for uh, our transgressions and our forefathers' transgressions. That's right. Come on. Unto thee. Unto thee, most high. In the land of them that carried them captive. In the land of them. We pray to the east. Solomon was facing the east, this direction right here. When you pray, we face the east. Come on. Saying, saying, we have sinned. Father, we have sinned. Not just, oh, Father, forgive me of my sins. Thank you, I'm saved. No, Father, forgive me for being that adulterer. Forgive me for being that whoremonger. Forgive me for being the deadbeat baby daddy. Right. Forgive That's me right. for being the abusive father. Right. Forgive me of those sins. You gotta repent, you gotta state what your sins are. Right. The most I want you to utter that thing. He wants you to come with a broken and contrite heart. Not prideful. Read. And have done perversely. And have done perversely against thy law, statutes, and commandments. Come on. We have committed wickedness. We have committed wickedness. Me going out here killing my brother, sleeping with his wife. Selling dope, selling damn cigarettes out here to That's people, right, causing right. them to die of cancer. Bruh. Read. Verse 48. And so return unto thee. And so return to the most high. With all their heart. With all their mind. And with all their soul. And with all their soul. Come on. In the land of their enemies. In the land of their enemies. The so-called white man, which who, whose his real biblical name is Esau. Right. Which led them away captive. Who led us away captive? Who led us away captive? Sam's there. Who led us away captive? 
against our will. Who? I'm asking you. Don't be afraid. To hell with it. Right. Who? God led us away, Captain. Read. And pray unto thee. And pray unto thee. Toward their land. Towards their land. What's our land? Israel. That's, That's right. right. Israel's a person before a place. Okay? Come on. Which thou gavest unto their fathers. Which thou gavest unto our forefathers. We wiped all them Hamites out of there. Right. That's our land. The true Israelites, due to the curses in Deuteronomy, would not see their homeland again. So who the hell are these bastards in our land now? That's right. We're over here. They're over there. Read. The city which thou hast chosen. The city which thou hast chosen. Come on. And the house which I have built for thy name. And the house which thou hast built for thy name. Okay? One last thing, and we're going to let the next brother come up. Give me Psalms 124. Psalms chapter 124. Close, okay? Why, verse 1. Why I told you, don't be afraid. If you keep in these law, statutes, and commandments, no harm can come to you. Bro, read. If it had not been the Lord who was on our side. If it had not been the Lord who was on our side. Those that are keeping his law, statutes, and commandments, read. Now may Israel say. May Israel say. Come on. If it had not been the Lord who was on our side. Come on. When men rose up against when us. When men rise up against us. Read. Then they had swallowed us up quick. Then they, read it right. Then they had swallowed us up quick. If it wasn't the most high that was on our side, when the enemies, just like they do today, rise up against us, they would have swallowed us quick. Read. When their wrath was kindled against us. When the enemy's wrath was kindled against us. Come on. Then the waters had overwhelmed us. Then the waters had overwhelmed us. Come on. The streams had gone over our souls. The streams would have gone over our souls. Come on. Let's close. Then the proud waters had gone over our souls. Come on. Blessed be the Lord who had not given us as a prey to their teeth. Read it again. Blessed be the Lord who had not given us as a prey to their teeth. You don't have to fear anybody. Right. The Most High controls this show.